Hockey safety is in the spotlight again tonight, but we're not talking concussions. We're talking about a 16-year-old who died over the weekend from a puck to the throat. Some are calling it a freak accident, while others are asking what more can be done to protect players. The CBC's Briar Stewart is in Edmonton tonight. Briar. Peter, it's a scene that plays out in hockey rinks every day. A young player diving to block a shot, but this time it ended in tragedy. This morning, makeshift memorials at Kyle Fenditis' school. Kyle was amazing. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Students left notes remembering a teen who died playing a sport he loved. Fenditis was playing hockey Saturday when he went to block a shot. The puck hit him in the throat. He died hours later. A tragic fluke, fluke incident. Today, his coach said the team had recently practiced how to block shots. Kyle was just doing what he does every other time he's on the ice. He was just putting it out for our guys. At the time, Fenditis was wearing all the required protective gear, including a neck guard. All minor hockey players must wear neck guards when they're on the ice. The most popular guards are these ones, the ones attached to shirts. They're made of a lightweight material, so it's comfortable, but it only offers limited protection. What are these designed to protect against? Yeah, against um, skate blades, air and stick blades. You can only imagine if, if they were to put plastic or even thicker foams in around the neck, it would act like a collar. It'd be your mobility and your flexibility in your neck would be very much reduced. That mobility is why many NHL players choose not to wear any kind of guard on their neck and Trent McCleary knows firsthand how vulnerable that area can be. When he played for the Montreal Canadiens back in 2000, he took a slap shot to his throat and nearly died. They said I had 20 seconds to a minute left before brain damage would have started to occur. So I was very, very fortunate. It was it, this, everything lined up perfectly for my incident, but uh, unfortunately it didn't for Kyle. Hockey Canada says it will review the incident to see if anything needs to change. As for Fenditis' team, they've cancelled tonight's game and the players won't lace up again until everyone feels ready to get back on the ice. Peter? All right, Briar, thanks very much. Briar Stewart in Edmonton tonight. Well, teammates describe Kyle Fenditis, number 11 here, as a natural leader. The team says it plans to establish a memorial scholarship in his name.